Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to create a vector of zeros in the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you five different examples and the first example is based on the rep function as you can see in line two of the code. And within the rep function we simply need to specify the value zero, then we need to specify a comma and then we need to specify the number of zeros that we want to show in our vector. So if you run line two of the code, you can see that a new vector object is created at the top right of RStudio, which is called x1. And we can print this vector to the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have created a new vector object, which is consisting of five zeros. So this method is my personal favorite. However, I want to show you four other examples in which I'm using different codes on how to create a vector of zeros in the R programming language. And in the second example, I'm again using the rep function, as you can see in line five of the code, but then I'm not specifying the value zero, I'm specifying zero L. So if you run line five of the code, you can see that another vector is created, which is called X2. And this vector is also consisting of five zeros. Now, another alternative that I want to show you is based on the numeric function, as you can see in line eight of the code. And within the numeric function, we simply need to specify the number of times the value zero should be contained in our vector. So if you run line eight of the code, another vector object is created, and this vector object is also consisting of five zeros. Similar to example three, we can also use the integer function, as you can see in line 11 of the code. So if you run line 11 of the code, another vector consisting of five zeros is created. And finally, I want to show you how to use the C function to create a vector of zeros. This is probably the most complicated or the most inefficient way how to create a vector of many zeros. But if you want to create a vector with only a few zeros, you can use the C function as well. So if you run line 14 of the code, another vector object is created, which is consisting of five zeros. So in this video, I have explained in five different examples how to create a vector of zeros in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the different alternatives that I have shown in this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. If you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you give me a thumbs up on the video or if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.